Well, hello friends. Hey, I am David, your tropical shirt loving host. And uh, this is the Adventures of the Philippine American Couple. And we have a really cool product for you. We can do an unboxing for you. The beautiful wife is behind the camera, so everybody say hello to her. And uh, we are glad you're here. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. It means a lot. It will help our channel grow and all that good stuff. And we are trying to raise $3 million to buy a beach house. So if you'd like to donate for that, that would be great. But today what I have for you is what they call a portable car stereo. Now, I'm going to kind of open this box and talk about it because I don't know a lot about this product. But I bought this because I have... If you guys have all seen the videos, I have an old beat up uh, Dodge Dakota truck that, that I drive. See, so sometimes, guys, you just got to be smarter than the box. And, you know, and it's an older one, right? But I like it. But it doesn't have any technology, the modern technology in it. So here's what's in the box so far it says attention on the backside, attention. We conduct quality assurance checks on every, uh, I'm going to pronounce it, Carmot product. If, however, you encountered any issues, please, blah, 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 blah. And they send you a picture of a cool little, not nice convertible. We got some styrofoam. So I think this is a nine and a half display. And what I bought this for is it's a portable unit. And... When we do drive in the truck, obviously, since I don't have any fancy in-camera or in-car digital display units, this I'm going to mount to my dash. And from everything I understand, we're going to be able to do, uh, what do you call that, the car play, mm -hmm. where I can put my phone GPS map on this. They say that this is a port, and I'm going to go out in the truck later. And show you but uh, and install it and we'll do all of that in part two of the video so just hang hang with us on that so but the big deal is let's see it's supposed to have a clip so it's kind of like a dash cam except for it's basically a fancy tablet that you can put your phone with it does have a power cord to hook into there into your cigarette lighter of your truck or a USB port, I'm sure, I hope. It does have a memory card slot. I'm not for sure what I would use the memory card slot for, but I guess there's so many other functions. Let me see if I can find the instructions. But I'm hoping I can clip it on. What, you want me to read this box? No, it's in here. Okay, well, tell them what it says. Touch screen, wireless car play, power supplied by cigarettes lighter, wireless Android audio, 7 to 32 volt adapted voltage, and wireless Bluetooth. It also have adapt to all models of the cars. It's a voice command. So that's a, usually you can see in, in a newer model of the car, but you can upgrade your car by assembling this and add to your late old model vehicle. All right, so what it looks like is it is a Wi-Fi. You can adjust the volume, the brightness, the date and time, all of that good stuff. It has a, uh, a button for CarPlay, Android Auto Play, ISO Mirror, so you can mirror your cell phones, I'm guessing what that is, right, Lorelai? Yes. And then it has a thing called Auto Link, which I'm not for sure. I have to lure you up on that, but it also has a radio built-in, I guess. It says FM here. Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth pretty much anything to it. It does have a micro SD card slot. So I guess if you have video that you want to watch, so maybe you, you can use it in the back seat of the truck with the kids, right? And they can watch a video. So what do you want, box? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, you can do that. And then it also has a button for settings. 
So we'll go through all of that kind of cool stuff out in the truck and see if I can figure out how to mount it and hook it up to where, because part of the goal, why we got this was, um, I want to mount it portably on my dash of my truck so that when we're going places, since I'm getting old, vision's not great, I can basically just Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whatever they call it, straight from my phone. Is it Google Google Maps that we like? Uh -huh. So it's Google Maps on our phone that we really like. So that's going to CarPlay onto this and allow me, the blind guy, to be able to see it much better in the truck. So that's why we got this. All right, let me go outside and see if I can hook all of this up. This, okay, this is the power one here. It comes with this one. But if you have like the other cable that has US, um, USB port, you can change it so that you can save something. But usually old car don't have a USB port. So that's why they designed for this one. And this one for the aux audio. Not all the car motor has this in, so you just can plug in there. And this one, it's for here. So that's sort of like the speaker? Yeah, like an audio, audio. So that's the okay. last one. And this was go with the mic here and right board, okay? Okay. And now, the moment of truth. Plug it in there. And the car is not on yet. Then you can you can connect your other stuff here too, which is the good thing, right? Do now say that again. Oh yeah, That's, yeah. So you oh, can yeah. still using your phone, like my dash cam. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are you see it now? Very nice. Your CarPlay, you can request Bluetooth on your phone. Bring it up a little bit, got a shadow on it. There you go. So yeah, it must be plugged in so that it has a power. It has to have direct power to it. Yeah. So there's no battery backup in it, which is okay. You so only want to run it when the trucks are on it. So you yeah, you can use on your phone. You want me to use yeah. my phone to Bluetooth? All right. So we are going to CarPlay it, right? Yeah, but you need the Bluetooth first. So make it sure your your Bluetooth is on okay. this one. Then you go to the Bluetooth, of course. Click it. And you see the car mount? Can you see it in my palm? Yeah. Oh my. This one? Yeah. So you do that one. All right. Paired. Goes the number, that one there. Then allow to sync their contact so that okay. when they call you, there's a microphone. It's just like the other phone. Then it's pairing now. I see. Okay, good. All right. By the way, the Bluetooth, you go to your setting. It's a really big screen. Yeah, it's like a tablet. Yeah. See, I just got to figure out where I'm going to mount it at, like up here or maybe over in here. Okay. Oh. Here she says, use CarPlay. So it went on. CarPlay, yes. Okay. Oh, it's connecting. Oh, <laughs> smoking butt parts! Holy smoking! Okay, then you can um, close that one. So let's uh, tell it to take us to like Alabama or Florida or somewhere nice and warm where the fish are. Okay. You know? This one is touch screen, by the way. Man, I'm gonna be fancier than your car. Woohoo! See. See what happens when you stay poor like me? You finally get something nice. You can do the voice. So, do you. Go to nearest Walmart. 
No way, Jose! So you can go to the Walmart and click it. It has... You can go a different route like your phone if you want to go to the shortcut or this one. So you don't have to do it on your phone. You can tell this thing what to do. Correct, but because you have a mic. If there's no auxiliary on your thing, it will not... Oh, so you got to keep that plugged in to be able to speak to it. Correct. Okay, you need to turn on. You see yeah, that? volume's low. Yep. Okay, we go it back to see if we can hear it. You can add a stop. Add harps. So harps is on. You can just add the harps um, on the way to Walmart. Or get a gas. Harps has really good fried chicken. Let's see the volume. All right, let me um, exit this one. Oh, there's a statics coming in probably of this one. Hold on. Okay. So it means it's all you can do YouTube too. You can oh! play your YouTube. Well, they said it was, yeah, because that's what I wanted to get you to work. Look like when you're playing your music while you're driving. Hold on. All right, we will close this one. So you could use it if you had kids and throw them in the back exit. and make them watch it or something. Huh? It says exit. Um, exit. Or you can remove the stop. Stop. Start. Let's see. That's going to the. Man, my old, my old Dodge is going to be fancy. No, I don't hear it. Okay, so I'll try to call you. <gasps> To see. Oh no, it's not because you're using my phone. Yeah. Okay, so what then this one? You can no look at all your contacts. See? Mm, there you go, bar. Then you go back here to see you have a Google map. So it's yeah. basically just mirroring my phone, right? Not really. Only limited so that, you know. Or you can have this the traffic thing. Oh. It's not really like the whole thing on your phone. You see this one? It yeah, has I your know. like ordinary car that has you can message, you can playing. But you can set the maps up so the yeah. way you want them. Yeah, and that's it. See? Okay. So it's not really like the whole thing or it's for legal purposes of driving. It does have a calendar. Yeah. But for some reason, the YouTube is not playing. I don't know what, well, what's in there. We may not have a... Maybe we can look at on the YouTube here. Yes, yeah, I mean, I think you'd have to have it going on your on my phone, right? Yeah, this is a Bluetooth to your phone. I mean, YouTube going on my phone. Yeah, probably. I don't know. So, yeah, not playing it. I don't know what's in there. But, uh, yeah, the YouTube... We can look well, at it. Well, you know, through the speaker, what it's going to do when you drive is tell you, remember how they, they do that whole, you know, exit in one mile. Yeah. Please exit the very next left, then turn right immediately, type of thing. That's, I'm sure, what the volume in the speaker will do for us, right? So you can do satellite a satellite map, map or road oh. option. Oh, yummy, yummy, gummy, gummy. Yummy, yummy, gummy, gummy. Well, exit. Up in there, there you go. So, if we take the truck on long drives. Oh, it's not only now, okay. Hmm? All right, we will see. We will do a new search. Right. So, you can type here too if you don't want it. Or you have, or the gas station here. Oh, we need gas station. Or you can do your home, save places, or... Coffee shops, restaurants, yeah. you can search for. So, just like your... Let's see. Shell. Okay, it will tell you the shell, how much is it. The price. Wow. Then this come and goes to 77. You, you do a uh, come and go 81. Let's see, that's the closing one. The Walmart, the, the Sam is 2.74. The shell is 280. Oh, that's a okay. cheaper one, no? That shell. Yeah. So, yeah, it saved you a lot of money, huh? 
Yeah, I can take it. Was, yeah. I don't know why there's no just, Walmart here. Oh, here the Walmart doesn't say them all. But some here, okay, we can go. Let's see. This is the cheapest one. Oh, maybe this one is closer to us. Oh, there's a 277. Get the far away one. There you go. West on Portside Avenue towards Citrine Street. I, I heard it through the speaker over here. You heard her? Yeah, I heard her. Tell okay. me. Go west on blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it came through the speaker system. Okay, so. That's great. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we do, where do you think we ought to mount it to? Because, you know, it comes like with a suction cup and a hard mount. The yeah. KBVA News Time is. But obviously, if your auxiliary is plugged in, you can't listen to the radio because you got the GPS going. Yeah, but you can. Um, but you could probably do it. It said it has a radio on it, so yeah. you can probably do something like that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to over the next couple of days I'm going to think about where I want to mount it. I may mount it right here. That way, and why you ask? Why would you mount it so far away? Because when we're driving then uh, Lorelei can operate the GPS unit. That's what we do a lot. I drive and she navigates. So even though I need to see it, which I could see here, she it? might be the one who's programming it. So. Um, let me see. So it's kind of a really long one. Yeah, so it's a lot of cables. So we'll have the... So yeah, here we'll see. This is too much blocking. Yeah, it would block my windshield view and we'd get stopped by the police and arrested and thrown in prison. I think that's too much. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah, that's the problem though. Yeah, I think we'd mount it. Not over my radio wall. I listen to the radio wall. Yeah, that's the problem. No, we gonna mount it. I think maybe put the mounting bracket right there. Put the, Put it right there. Okay, and we angle it towards you. See, that's okay right there. Maybe a little lower, but it would be okay there. Yeah, they have the clip. Maybe you just use uh -huh. the, yeah. what is a suction, or like this. Yep. Yep, or even just down here to where, you know. Yeah, you cannot see it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So it must be somewhere. This is a really, it's no, huge. That, it will block yeah, your that side. Won't work. And I don't think hanging it upside down would work either. It's just too big. It must somewhere here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I think I'm liking it. Even if I got to figure yeah, something out. Yeah, we would do the right suction here. Here, yeah. here. You put the suction, it will be here. Yeah. That one. Well, so that air is coming a little bit here. It's not will be overheat. Yeah, that's one thing I was going to say. Since yeah. the air vents there will help keep it cool because yeah. if you do stick it up in the sunny window, it may overheat. This one here. This is a perfect one. Yeah. Because it doesn't block my view, but I can it's see it. It's not too close to your face? No, not at all. It's actually really good. Yeah. Because here I am. I pretend I'm driving. I'm driving my old Dodge truck because I'm poor. Yeah, let me see you. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm driving my dog. Can you hold it, please? I don't know how to sing country songs. See, here I am, man. I'm just driving my old Dodge truck. This is my fishing truck. Woo! Because I can't afford real trucks. I got to drive fishing truck. So I think that works fine. Um, because I don't like to mess with things. And I think that's far enough away. But if I had to stop and pull over to work with it, I could. But yeah, you, you try to voice it. Try to see if we can voice it. What do you want me to tell it to do? I don't know. Hey, Google. Does it have a name? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, Siri. Hi. You can press it here. There you go. Hey, Siri. You see that one? Take me to Walmart. Oh, you unplugged the sound. No. Remove. Hold hey, on. Siri. Take me to Mobile, Alabama. Allow while using the app. Allow while using the app. Well, I'm trying. But you keep moving. Because you bring allow once. Well, so. All right, we're going to Mobile, Alabama, Faust's route. 
Starting route to mobile. So it has its own building Head speaker west on then. Courtside Avenue. Yeah, you don't need to. You don't need to do this because it has its own built-in speaker. Yeah. But you could if you wanted to. Because of the radio. Because of the radio. Yeah, but this one it works. Because you know us cool guys. We okay, like say listen, that again. Different we like one. To listen to our tunes. Say say that again. Hey, hey Siri, take me to Chicago, Illinois. Oh, I hate Chicago. In 900 feet, turn left onto Copper Street. To the Hey Siri exit. Uh, Turn off the. Hey exit. Siri, turn off the map. There you go. Then tell it they're going to somewhere. Hey Siri, what's the nearest? Why am I so great? Hello, Siri. What's the weather? Home screen. Home screen, Siri. Hey, Siri, home screen. No, I just take the map. I guess we're the map here. I think we're stuck on the map. Hey, Siri, take me to Los Angeles, California. Go. Starting route to Los Angeles. <laughs> Head west on Quartzsite Avenue. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's more fancier mm -hmm. than my thing. <laughs> We're going down the road. That's great. So it works cool. I think it's going to be great. I mean, if you got an older vehicle like mine, because I'm too poor, you know, because nobody will give me money to buy a new one. So uh, I think it's going to work okay, don't you? What I like about it is it's portable enough that you can switch it out to somebody else's car that's poor like this one you know they don't have all the fancy stuff but i really like how big the screen is you know so that's great because my dream my dream car would have a digital screen for the whole thing nothing would be anything but digital screen yeah. so you could watch tv and watch youtube and have cooking videos and have maps going all at the same time while you're driving Okay, but this one, it will not be um, vertical. It's just like only one type of a screen. But the good thing is your Siri can do this one here. So only to get those whole access for the phone. Can you what? tell that Siri to go uh, home screen? Siri, go to the home screen. Exit map. Siri, exit map. And there you go. All right, that's it. Siri. Play music. No, I want to, oh, play music. No. I don't think you can do that. This tornado. So it's limited, but it's all right. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, call my wife. Hey, Siri, call my wife. Oh. oh yeah, it's Ooh. going. Huh. What I don't understand, and, and I really don't get this, that they were smart. They would have just they would make these to where you can change the name. Why do we have to call it Siri? Because you it's just, on your Bluetooth to your iPhone. I know, but Apple and Android should have made it to where we could change the name. Well, who wants to call something Alexis? We should be able to name it like in Star Trek. Computer, beam me up. Computer, turbo lift number one. Yeah, it's a software that it will activate. But they should make access. a software where we can change the name of all these things to what we want. And that'd be for, so I could, I could yell at you. See, I could name it Lou Yu. Say, Lorelai, find me the nearest IGA. And then when I get home, I have to be nice to you. All right. Are we good? What yeah, you think? We're, oh, we're good. I what do you think? I think it's cool. Uh, it was $109 on Amazon. Um, I think it's well worth that for how we're going to use it. Okay. So I'm very happy with it. Woohoo! Take care, guys. See you next time.